It is also misleading. This film was taken shortly after VJ Battery was first commissioned and shows the situation at that time before any valid assessment of the potential hazards associated with firing depleted uranium projectiles had been made. Techniques have also been used after the sequence of events to make the overall effect even more dramatic. This apparently devastating effect of anti-armor penetrators gave rise to the misconception that every produces the same prolonged and massive throwback and release of DU to atmosphere. In reality, this was the true effect. Four, three, two, one, mark. With the original design, there was a throwback of DU from the front of the butt, approximating to this pattern, which was obtained by overlaying a series of photographs. The heights and distances shown are the maxima observed. In 1987, a tunnel was added to the front of the butt. This had the effect of reducing the throwback pattern to the extent indicated in this illustration. It had been calculated that the departure angles, horizontal and vertical, would be reduced from a maximum of 50 to 15 degrees. In fact, as this film shows, an even better result was attained. Four, three, two, one, fire. Two, one, fire. Four, three, two, one, fire. In July 1991, a special trial was conducted with the cooperation of the trial sponsor. In the weeks before the trial was to be conducted, high volume air samplers were obtained and positioned in accordance with guidance given by the Directorate of Defense, Health and Safety. The new units replaced the L100 samplers, which were brought in and positioned around the butt to give saturation air sampling in this immediate area. In the week before the trial, a rigorous operation was mounted to clean the butt and apron areas, the apron resettlement chamber and the butt fan chambers. The replacement butt filtration media were individually weighed, logged and positioned. As part of our continuing commitment to improve butt containment, the tunnel door was added in late 1990. Notice that the your card fitted to the tunnel door access window is blown out and virtually destroyed. Four, three, two, one, fire. This material is obviously not substantial enough to withstand the sudden pressure, and so it allows a small amount of burning material to escape from the tunnel. With the permission of the trial sponsors, a frame was constructed and fitted with filter matting. Three, two, one, fire. Although this filter was also blown out, there is a definite time delay and the filter material remains intact. Four, three, two, one, fire. This one filter was used for the last four rounds of the trial. Four, three, two, one, fire. Four, three, two, one, fire. This is the same round from a different camera angle. Four, three, two, one, fire. It 
can be clearly seen that despite many financial and other restrictions, simple modifications made to the original design and construction of VJ Butt have resulted in a considerable improvement in containment. This in turn has reduced the potential hazard to both the workforce and the general public. This is 410 microbecquerels lower than the investigation level. Of the 41 kilograms of DU fired in this trial, 80% was recovered. As has been seen, this is in keeping with the general principles of as low as reasonably achievable. Towards the end of 1991, and with the agreement of the Directorate of Defence, Health and Safety, we carried out additional modifications to the butt in an attempt to reduce even further the release of contamination into the atmosphere. These modifications were centred on the door, which was equipped with a flexible skirt, time stage. These modifications were tested in a trial during the week 27th to 31st of January 1992. And as can be seen from these shots of rounds one to four, the discharge from the front of the butt appears to have been reduced. It must be pointed out, however, that the target for this trial was positioned at an angle. A less severe test, as far as discharge is concerned, than during the total recovery exercise when the target was at normal to the line of fire. We at Esk Mills are fully aware of our responsibilities towards the environment and to the public in general. And our aim is to ensure that emissions from VJ Butt are kept as low as is reasonably achievable. To this end, we will continue to put into effect such modifications as are necessary to achieve this aim.